Greetings my fellow freaks and weirdos, I'm Tom and welcome to Monster Gab, where we love to talk about all things horror. And in today's episode, we're going to go on a horror movie pub crawl, or bar crawl, or whatever you like to call it. Well, okay, not literally, but I'd like to take this opportunity to play a game with you guys. You want to play a game? So, folks, the game is quite simple. I have compiled a list of 10 bars, pubs, taverns, and nightclubs from popular horror films that I think would make for a great pub crawl, and I want you guys to play along too. So, for instance, in the comment section, make your own list of 10 pubs or bars from popular horror films that you think would make for a good pub crawl, and leave your reasons for why you've picked those bars and pubs. Now, if you don't know the name of the bar or pub or tavern, just leave the name of the horror film. And just to make this a bit more fun, if you have your own YouTube channel and the capability of filming a video like this, then please go ahead and do so and leave a link in the comment section so that I can check it out. I don't know, I just think it'd be great to see other people join in and do this. But before you do, we can't just pick any old pub or bar or any old horror film. We've got to have a set of rules. So here we go. Rule number one, determine what kind of drinker you are and what kind of pubs or bars or surroundings appeal to you. I'll go first. I'm what you would call a beer drinker. Um, I love lagers in the summer, a cool refreshing lager. You can't beat that. But I do prefer my ales and I'm not really picky with ales. I love the whole spectrum. So anything from a fruity, hoppy IPA to a earthy, malty amber beer, right the way to a very dark and heavy porter. I love all kinds of ales. But then towards the end of the evening, I'm, I'm quite partial to a gin and tonic, or maybe even a, a short of whiskey or even some rum. As for my surroundings, I'm a bit old fashioned and typically British, so I love old worldy pubs. Anything that's in a Edwardian style building, for instance, with all the beams going across the building, I love stuff like that. Um, beer served in handled glasses and dimpled mugs and people wearing tweed and flat caps. I'm a sucker for it and I've even been known to don the attire myself. But what about you guys? Maybe you're more of a wine drinker or maybe you prefer more trendy nightclubs. You've got to put this into perspective. It makes the game a bit more fun, I think. Maybe you don't drink alcohol. Goodness knows why you'd want to come on a pub crawl, but um, let's put that into perspective too. So for instance, the slaughtered lamb from the movie American Werewolf in London doesn't serve coffee, so bear that in mind. They also don't serve hot chocolate, but they might make you a cup of tea, despite the fact that that is also not on the menu. There is, however, a kind of artsy coffee lounge in the film Bucket of Blood. Maybe you could pick that. Rule number two. Don't pick a bar solely based on the movie it's featured in. So for argument's sake, you can't pick a pub or a bar literally because it's featured in your favourite horror film, okay? Going back to rule number one, the bar has got to be something that really kind of suits your character. Rule number three, you must pick a pub or bar with the mindset that you are completely oblivious and unaware of any horrors that occur within the movie it's featured in. Now I think this is a fun rule because it means you could potentially become a possible victim within the horrors of the film. Rule number four, the pub or bar or tavern or nightclub, whatever you choose, has to be a fictional one. So for argument's sake, if the bar scene was filmed in a real bar in a real location, we're we're not talking about that bar or location, we're talking about the fictional one that's in the movie. The bar scene that's in Halloween 3 was filmed in a bar called the Buccaneer in California. But if we pick that bar, we are not picking the Buccaneer in California, we are picking whatever the bar is in Halloween 3. And finally, rule number five, you are allowed to use a time machine because some films are based in another time. Maybe it's a periodic film and the bar is in the 1800s and you wouldn't get bars like that today. Um, so yeah, you can use a time machine to visit the pub or bar in the time that it's meant to be set in. Remember guys, they've got to be horror movies only and give a brief description as to why you've picked those pubs and bars. And without further ado, here is my list that I've compiled together. So the first pub that I put on my list is The Slaughtered Lamb from American Werewolf in London, 1981. Um, in the movie, a couple of American backpackers visit the UK only to get attacked by a werewolf. But before they do, they visit a pub called The Slaughtered Lamb. This certainly looks like a very clicky 
pub. Um, the locals look like they're not too friendly to any outsiders. It's a very locals pub, but I'm not going to let that bother me. The surroundings look like my kind of pub. I think I'd be able to fit in quite well. And you know, I might be able to get them to warm to me. I don't know, but it looks like it serves the kind of beer that I drink and it's a good place to start. So sticking with my theme of old worldy pubs, for my second choice, I've gone for a pub that features in the movie Doom Watch from 1972. Now, the film is about a scientist who's been sent to a remote Cornish island to investigate some cases of pollution, only to find that there's a hell of a lot more going on. Um, I don't think the pub has a name, or at least I couldn't see one anyway. Well, I suppose it would do within the story, but as far as the film is concerned, I, I couldn't see a name for this pub. But again, it's a very typical old worldy pub everyone's drinking out of handled glasses which really does suit me to a T and everyone's drinking the kind of beer that I think I would enjoy again though the people in this pub really do look clicky and of course they're locals because they're living on an isolated island they all know each other and anyone who's not from the island is going to stick out like a sore thumb so it might feel a little bit hostile in there but I don't care it's only bar number two we'll get through it now, I don't want my pub crawl to be too boring, so I've picked one more pub that's similar to the previous two, which is The Green Man, which features in the movie The Wicker Man from 1973. Now, The Wicker Man is very similar to Doomwatch in the fact that it's based on an isolated British island, and it's essentially about a police officer who visits the island in search of a missing girl. I've actually made a video on The Wicker Man. If you want to go check that out, I'll leave a link in the comments section. Just like Doomwatch, because this is based on an isolated island, obviously the bar is full of locals, everybody knows each other, and anyone who visits this pub is going to stick out. But the islanders are not as hostile as, say, the ones in Doomwatch. They're not too keen on outsiders coming to the island itself, but once you get in the pub, it looks quite friendly. In fact, it looks like they have a bit of music going on, and you know they have quite an attractive barmaid there, who's also particularly friendly too. It's a typical old worldy pub, as I keep going on about. They look like they serve the kind of beers that I would enjoy, and yeah, like I said, it looks like they've got a bit of atmosphere going on with some live music. I could certainly see myself having a good time here. I may even consider staying around for a while. What's the worst that could happen? Now guys, for my fourth choice, I've got to shake things up a little bit. After all, this is a pub crawl or a bar crawl or whatever you guys like to call it. But I can see some people not liking my first three choices. Maybe they would consider them a bit stale. We've got to liven things up a little bit. So how about some strippers? Now, I was going to pick the Tropical Bar, also known as the Dream Bar from the movie Demon Knight, which is a, a feature-length film from the Tales from the Crypt series, released in 1995. But that is more of a dream sequence than an actual bar, I think. So we're going to head out to the Titty Twister from the movie From Dust Till Dawn, released in 1996. For anyone who hasn't seen the film, it's basically a typical Quentin Tarantino action thriller. But as soon as the movie reaches this destination, it takes quite a turn. I won't say any more than that. What I will say though is rule number three, we've got to approach this bar like we are unaware of any horrors that may occur. Meaning if I ever visited this place, yeah, I'd be completely doomed. I wouldn't want to leave. And I'd probably shamelessly spend a lot of money in there too. Now guys, as we reach destination number five, we're gonna have to pace it a little bit. I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm on my fifth beer and I can't keep drinking ales all night. I might have to switch to something more crisp like a lager. Which is why my fifth destination is the Winchester from Shaun of the Dead. Now, Shaun of the Dead is probably one of my favourite movies. It's a horror comedy movie, and it's about a zombie apocalypse. It's as simple as that. But it, there is more to it than that, and it's not just a comedy. It's one of the best zombie movies ever made. But the heart of the movie, or the sanctuary of the town within the movie, is the pub called the Winchester. Now, the Winchester, to me, seems like a typical UK pub. Nothing too fancy. They serve your typical beers and your commercial lagers, but it's a good place to sit down after five beers. But guys, we can't slow down here, okay? We're only halfway through the pub crawl, so we need our second wind, which is why we're going to have to really mix things up a little bit. Let's leave the pubs behind for now, use the time machine, and go visit Tech Noir, which is a nightclub featured in the movie The Terminator from 1980. Now, the reason why I'm using my time machine here is because this is a very typical 80s nightclub. And if it existed today, it would be too modern. The music would be modern. The people 
would be modern. Everyone would be vaping and staring at their phones. And I know that sounds like a very typical boomer thing to say, but trust me, I'm a millennial and I can't stand that stuff. And if Tech Noir did exist today and it was still an 80s style bar, it would literally be for novelty purposes only and nostalgia. I want real nostalgia. Let's go back in time and visit this bar as it was. People with big hair and wearing leg warmers and listening to 80s synth pop. Okay, I'd probably struggle to find a drink in this place, but you know what? I'd find something. Maybe that gin and tonic I mentioned earlier. Was gin and tonic cool in the 80s? I don't know. Rum and coke. Now I did consider the Corral, which is a biker bar featured in the movie Terminator 2 from 1991, but I don't think I would really survive in that bar. I mean, despite the fact that a T-800 actually does turn up at some point, I think I would still get my ass kicked just by the locals. Okay, so as we reach destination number seven, I'm really going to be craving that gin and tonic, so we're going to have to look for somewhere a bit more fancy. How about the ballroom or the bar in the Overlook Hotel featured in The Shining? Well, as far as the 1980 movie is concerned, yeah, this ballroom does look a little bit too fancy. I mean, after all, I don't want to dress up in a tuxedo just for the sake of this one destination. So how about the bar that featured in the Shining miniseries that was released in 1997? Yeah, this is a quaint looking bar. I love the, the lighting that they have in this place. I love the fact that it has a jukebox and it looks like they serve bourbon whiskey. So I'm not going to be short of anything to drink here. Yeah, I think a good time could be had. So straggling on then to destinations eight and nine, I really want to go back to that oldie worldy vibe, but not the pubs that we visited on the first three destinations. How about an old tavern? But let's go back in time to say the 1800s. And what better places to visit than say the Hammer Horror movies? Ah, oh, guys, this was such a difficult thing to do because there are so many bars and taverns that feature in Hammer Horror films that I would love to have a drink in. So narrowing it down to literally just two was really tough. But I've had to go for Dracula Prince of Darkness released in 1966. After all, I've already mentioned it before in a previous review and I actually mentioned how I'd love to have a drink there. The ambience just looks really warm and inviting, the locals look really friendly, and it looks like everyone's up for a good time. Hell, I thought yard cocktails were invented in the 90s, but according to this film, it was invented in this tavern in the 1800s. And as for my second choice of tavern of this type and period, I've gone for the one that features in the movie Brides of Dracula from 1960. I just like the aesthetics of this bar and it just looks like they serve real traditional ales and I really do mean traditional. Imagine drinking out of a tankard. Probably not very hygienic but you know we're on a night out. There's nothing hygienic about that kebab you're going to get later. So for my final destination and no I haven't picked a bar from the movie Final Destination. I want to go for a typical American style sports bar, you know, with a bowl of nuts on the side or maybe some pretzels, some frosty commercial lager. That'll be a great way to end the evening, I think. Now, I've narrowed it down to three bars from three different horror films, but I haven't quite come to a final conclusion yet. There is a bar that features in the movie The Fog, released in 1980, which is essentially a ghost story, a pirate ghost story. And in this bar, we see a character played by the one and only Tom Atkins, who is quenching his thirst. There is also the bar featured in Halloween 3, where once again we see Tom Atkins quenching his thirst, whilst also watching a trailer for the first Halloween film on a TV screen in there. We don't need to talk about Halloween 3, I've done a video on it, go check it out, link in the description. And then there's Dory's Tavern from the movie Gremlins released in 1984. Surely you don't need me to explain the movie Gremlins to you guys, go check the movie out. Now some of you may be thinking, well surely you've got to pick Dory's Tavern. Out of all three of those bars, that place looks like it's really swinging, right? There's lots of fun to be had there. Well, not on a typical day, I don't think so. I mean, we've got to approach this movie like we are unaware of any horrors that may occur. And well, the only reason why Dory's Tavern looks like it's a bunch of fun is because it's full of gremlins, which wouldn't be typical. I mean, after all, there's only one person serving behind the bar. So I would imagine that Dory's Tavern is just as quiet as the bars in Halloween 3 and the Fog. I have to say, I love the aesthetics of these kind of bars, the neon signs and the commercial lagers. And if I had to pick one, 
I suppose, yeah, I would pick Dory's Tavern. I mean, after all, it looks like it's got some kind of Irish background, and the Irish really do know how to have a good time. So guys, those are my 10 choices of bars, pubs, taverns, and clubs that I think would make for a great horror movie pub crawl. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with my choices or do you disagree? Please make your own list down there in the comments section. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. And again, try and stick to the rules and be as genuine as you possibly can and give reasons to why you have chosen those particular bars and clubs. As I mentioned earlier, if you guys have your own YouTube channel and you have the capability of making a video like this, I'd love to see what you come up with. Leave a link in the comment section so I can check it out. Folks, that is all we've got time for in this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by and until next time. I don't know who they are, but if you don't subscribe, they will get you. So make sure you are indeed subscribed. Click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new video here on Monster Gab. Like the video if you did indeed like it and leave that comment down there. Share this with your friends and thank you so much for stopping by. Take care. See you soon in the pub, hopefully. Bye bye.